All right, got our big car back. It's a little longer this time. Hopefully it won't blow up this time. Two D engines. Car won't go nearly as fast, but hopefully the duration of the speed will carry it a decent distance. Nice tailwind. As always, let's try and keep off these walls. Just, just a slight bit that way. All right, let's see what we can do. Two D engines, here it comes. Oh, I am really impressed. Wow. That was pretty awesome. Center of the screen against the other wall. That actually hit the wall and kept going. Well, well, well. Oh, seems in, sorry. That was a really, really good run. How about that? I may have discovered something here. That car hit the wall and actually kept going. Well, not, not completely damaged free. We got pieces all over the place here. Here, we got an engine right here. That's normal. Another piece right here. And a wheel came off. Oh boy. Well, it wasn't a sure thing, but despite the wheel missing, I'm surprised it carried that much speed and went all the way down there. Well, let's see, uh, let's see how far we got. Okay, it's coming over here. We hit the wall here the first time. Here's the debris scattered. And I'm just really, really pleased it went further. Not only further, but really, really further. You see it down at the car. Still going. The greatest thing about this car proves two things. It can handle an initial impact. But not only that, when it hit this wall on the far end, Normally the car would just spin out and stop. This car actually hit the wall right about this dividing line right here. No further pieces. It fishtailed but straightened out and went an additional 30 or 40 feet. This car is damaged pretty badly, but given this, well, that back axle is really bent. And it went 500, not quite, 477 feet, 10 inches. 477 feet bouncing off two walls. This car is in bad shape. You can see we hit the wall initially right here. Tore the wheel out and I guess the drag bar actually helped stabilize the car which allowed it to continue on with only three wheels. And then somehow here, I don't know how well you can see that with the glare, but that rear axle bent pretty badly. You can see it better right there. How about that? That's uh, it had to have happened when the second engine went off because the second engine's way back here and it's got a long way to burn. So maybe I gotta change the placement of that axle. But still very impressive. You see the rear axle here disconnected away from the car. The rear tail is actually shifted a little bent there as well. But for that kind of damage, and still going that far, let's see what we look like under here. Remember, this is the car that actually exploded that one time with the E-engine. So it fared a heck of a lot better this time. You can see this bar. The glare is pretty bad. There's a yellow bar down here that actually drags on the ground to help the car stabilize as it's going forward with all that rear end thrust so the car won't spin around during acceleration. I can turn this over and show you a little better shot of it. It's this yellow bar right here. Here's the engine block here. This actually comes down below the car. You can see, I don't know how well you can see it. This, you can see the scuffs grooved in, grooved in right here on the two end pieces. They scratched down pretty good. So, uh, not, uh, not bad at all. I'm really impressed by that. Happy with the result, despite the damage on the car. All right, nicely done, keep on watching.